What's up YouTube? It's your boy Stans here and welcome back to Pixelmon here on the channel. We are on the Pokey Mayhem Neo server continuing where we left off last episode. Quick reminder before we start today's actual episode, I'd like to let you all know that I do have a code you guys can use on the Pokey Mayhem web store regardless of whichever server you play on here, uh, be it Origin, Neo, anything like that. You guys can take advantage of my code, get you guys 10% off of your total order, Stans10. Of course, being that code, if you guys don't, uh, you know, recall how it goes through, uh, how I say it, always check the description for all the good information that you guys are looking for. Let's get started with today's episode. So, uh, if we do ex or not exclamation point, but uh, slash log, visit the professor's aid in Alveria, and then a uh, tip: I'm gonna have to have the 10% Pokedex completion progress, which I believe I should have. I, I should have it. If not, it's not going to be very, very hard to do because we have enough Pokeballs to catch uh, anything that we uh, really want, to be honest. Now, the thing is, though, I have to find a way to get to Avaria. So, I, I want to say someone said it before here around town saying, hey, it's like Northwest or anything like that. But I have a nice little Dynamap provided to, of course, the server. And uh, it, it, it'll, like, pretty much tell me which direction to go. Oddly enough, it doesn't tell me, like, the cities or the town's name. But uh, I kind of like, you know, just do go by the closest one to me and then go from there. So what I'm going to do, guys, it's going to be uh, quick into the jump cuts today. We're going to do a little bit of jump cut because I want to travel to a very end. I don't want to, I, I would want to bring you along, but it's going to get really boring and be really quiet and be running or probably flying on Charizard. And uh, I just want to get there and get on with today's story quest. That looks so good. Looks really good. I'm not going to lie, I found it fairly quickly, guys. So if you guys can see, that's that's Tavern, like, literally right there. I can still see Tavern where I'm at right now. And uh, just flying in the direction of where the Meowth uh, Hot Air Balloon is at is where we have Avaria. This is the Avaria Desert. So I expect a lot more uh, ground type of one. There's random trainers around. Um, what was that, a Bisharp? Well, that's pretty cool. I really don't expect to see a Bisharp in the desert, though. But this is it. Avaria Desert. We're going to unlock the warp. And then, uh, first things first, when we get into a new town, I like to find the, uh, Pokey style. There it is. There it is. Uh, oh, there's the Macargo. See, I expect a Macargo in, in something like this. Pokestop is here. Ooh, someone dropped some stuff. I could sell this stuff. And then Flame Pokestop. Oh, there's a Larvitar, like, right there, too. So, a Dawnstorm Shard and a Heavy Ball. Um, okay, cool. We're, we're good here. I mean, there's plenty of Pokemon for us to catch, too, as well. You know, and okay this is the only one that looks like a professor a professor's aide but i feel like when i talk to him he's gonna make me talk to them so let's get started with today's episode so nice to meet you stands is it the name's cole how's your day going can i help you oh you're a trainer got it anyway i'm kind of busy unless you have something to show me that's at least 10 percent please leave me alone you get the feeling you're going to need something pokedex related before this guy is going to really acknowledge you Okay, so I don't have my Pokedex complete. Uh, well, 10% complete. So I'm pretty content with catching Pokemon. I'll catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Starting with this little Slugma. Uh, just catch that. And then I, I guess, you know, we're going to walk around here and just catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. And then uh, hopefully we get this 10% and we'll make our way back to the Professor's League. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I really did. Alright, so we are back. And I've just been literally... I've been catching a bunch of Pokemon, like a bunch of them. And I don't know exactly what he wants because I just did a slash dex check. And it tells me how many Pokemon I've caught and the percentage that I'm at. I'm at 200, or I'm at 23%. So I, I should be good. So if I speak to him again, we should be able to continue with whatever we're uh, doing with our story today. Oh, there it is. See you again. Can't you give me uh, some breathing room? You say you got your Pokedex to 10%. Let me check that. Right, you're good. Well, welcome to Avaria Desert. This place stinks. It's so hot. Anyway, this place is a very popular resort area for whatever reason. And the mountains are a huge archaeological archaeology site. Uh, that's a hard word, guys. That's a hard word. Uh, not only are there excursions, but there are tours of the peaks almost every day. You should check it out if you got the time. What? That's it? I, I did all that catching just for that? What do I have to do now? Visit the Excursion Information Center. It's not going to be these guys, right? Let me talk to him anyway. No. Uh, should we? My wife, Avery, is a well-renowned archaeologist and the love of my life. She's simply incredible. 
She's also very good with animals and Pokemon. She may as well be vet back home. We live in Ass Lake Ridge, but her work tends to take her around the world. We're almost always visiting Iberia. It gets a little tiring, but I'm incredibly happy for her. It helps that I get to enjoy different foods with, from different cities. Okay, cool. My husband, Samuel, likes to really boost my self-esteem, but does nothing for his own confidence. He's very adept at making Pokemon medicines. He's also quite into horology. He's always got to have his kit with him. And if I do say so myself, he's a fantastic kid. Too bad we can't be home more often. I miss his apple crisp. He's just a wonderful man altogether. Don't look now, but I think I made him blush. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling we have to do something with them very, very soon. The name Avery kind of like reminds me that I have to talk to someone. Um, but what we have to do now is look for this uh, excursion site. And I guess get some information on it. What is this? Well, this person has an, an exclamation point. Oh, maybe this is it because that looks like a hiker or something. Let's talk to him first. Hello there, young one. Are you interested in a Varia Peaks tour? Lucky for you, our tour is just about to go on his last tour of the day, our tour guide, okay? Uh, we just need to get some preparations done. We will usually require tourists to bring their own bold nature Hariyama, sign a waiver, and pay a $5,000 fee. So you'll have to pass for now. That's a shame. I hope you, consider, uh, re you can reconsider sometime. Please come again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we don't have the money for it because uh, I didn't think I was actually going to have to pay anything. Um... Pay five thousand dollar fee. I, I have a thousand, but that's usually that that's really just because I've been spending it all on like rare candies from the GTS to level up with my team. I don't know if you noticed, but we now have a Metachamp as opposed to a Metatite and now have a Pillow Swine. Um so this is gonna be pretty rough. I'm pretty sure Harry I'm spawn around here. I saw one or I saw a couple earlier today, but I believe everybody's kind of stuck in that, you know like that like what they're doing right now uh that are doing the quest they're catching a whole bunch of hariyamas hoping that it's a bold one so it's like straight up rng at this point i completely understand now why everybody was looking for hariyamas so uh <laughs> this is gonna suck so uh i'm gonna catch it i'm gonna keep catching it and then i uh, will be back so all right so my first hariyama here i'm just gonna ultra ball it well i'm gonna dust ball it actually it's probably best to dust ball it hopefully i catch it and hopefully it's exactly what i need I beat, like, I, I know people that were doing this for a very, very long time. So I caught the Hariyama. No problem there. Let's go ahead and do slash PC and see what this Hariyama is. Uh, stats, it's a quirky nature. So uh, we just have to... Now, it's, dude, it's really going to get annoying. Really going to get annoying. And then uh, I can't do, like, the whole synchronize um, thing with, like, like, any Pokemon that has synchronized as an ability. Just because I believe, as of right now, it's kind of broken in Pixelmon. And another thing is I can't catch a Makuhita and evolve it into a uh, Hariyama because it says specifically to catch one. So there's no loopholes, and I'm going to have to grind this thing out. This is going to be a tough one, guys. Going to be a tough one. All right, so since the last clip that you guys have seen, regardless of whatever the clip is, because I might cut some things out, might keep some things in, but uh, regardless from the last clip you guys saw, I probably grinded for about three to four days trying to get some Hariyamas. And to be honest, it's pretty crazy. I went through 17 before I finally got the one that I needed. And uh, it was like, you know, sometimes I didn't have too much time to grind. Sometimes I had a lot of time to grind. Uh, so, like, there's some days where I was averaging maybe, like, two or three Hariyamas. And then there's others I was averaging, like, four or five and grinding for a little bit more. But after, what is it, 17, right? Because it goes 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and number 17 here. Bold nature. So we have our guy. We, we finally have him. So I guess we'll replace Altaria for right now. Let's talk to this person real quick. And uh, so, have you come to join the tour after all? Maybe I could interest you in an excursion instead. It will only cost you $150,000, but you won't need the Pokemon. Everything on the excursion is covered? No, that's a shame. Yeah, I, I think I have $150,000 to, to, to waste. I do. Why didn't I just do that? I didn't know it was an option. Here, I'm captured. And then uh, five thousand dollars. That's it's simple. Boom. We good now, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, click to sign the waiver. Oh, we gotta sign the waiver. Completely forgot about this. Click to sign the waiver and talk to him one more time. Hope. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Finally here to join the tour. Marvelous. Let me take the money and have you sign this waiver. You'll have to sign here and here and here as well. Here, 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 and lastly here on the dotted line. 
Uh, excellent. You and your Hariyama look set. Julian will be waiting at the base of the peaks for you to join the group. Cool. So I've done a, a little bit of traveling around uh, the area, and I know exactly where to meet up with the rest of the group. Uh, it's right over here, I believe. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure it's over here. It's on like one of these mountains over here. Yeah, where the flag's at. Where the flag's at. You guys see the flag over here? So um, if you guys are doing this adventure on your own as well, don't know where to go, go head towards the Mesa and look for the flag. I believe that's where the group of people are at. I wonder, do I still need a Hariyama? Because to be honest, as cool as Hariyama is, is a cool, uh, like as a Pokemon, I, I don't think I'm going to be rocking it anytime soon. I'm pretty uh, content with my team. So I don't know which one to talk to first, but we'll talk to this one first. Seems to be distracted, so let's talk to that one first. Yo, welcome to the Peaks Tour. Glad to see you chose to join the tour after all. We're just about to set out, so... And then this is what happens. A man starts yelling and running down the Peaks area group, uh, stopping next to Julian, looking winded. Whoa, you okay, dude? What happened? Still catches his breath. You should probably talk to him. Okay, so it's this guy. This guy came in running. What's up with you, bro? Please help me. My wife is an archaeologist who was working on the Peaks, and she was coming down to meet me, but there's a dangerous pit below where she was walking. She tripped and fell. I think she got knocked unconscious. Please, help Avery. It's a really close to the summit. Just up this slope. If you can save her, take her to the Pokemon Center. Okay. So it's just up this slope. So it's in this area somewhere? So now I have to travel around looking for a person. That that may actually be pretty hard. I mean, there's a, 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 uh, like a little ditch. So there's more, you know, there's more for me to look down as opposed to go up. As much as I want to go up, I should probably stay down low. That's how I'm pretty sure I'll find the character or the person that I'm looking for, Avery. Um, hmm. I really don't know where to look, though. I don't know where to look. So I guess th this merits another jump cut. So me to for wait, 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 wait. What do I have over here? Maybe it's over here. I don't know. It's kind of kind of seemed like this would be an area. That's a regular trainer. It's not any like NPC I have to talk to. Um, yeah. I guess uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hop on Charizard and fly away. I, th I think that's the big thing today is just to see where exactly where I need to go. So there's a slope. To be honest, uh, I don't not really well like good with like terms and stuff like that. I don't know what a slope is. So I'm just gonna hop on Charizard and fly around. And if Charizard wants to come out, there you go. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So um, it kind of actually took me like I was gonna say two days, probably longer than two days, to find out exactly where this person is. This person that I'm looking for that fell down the mountain is actually right there. Um, I actually needed to enlist the help of other players on the server. So shout out to, uh, I believe it was Craft Clan and uh, Bot Molly. I, I believe Bot Molly has helped me out before as well. Uh, shout out to them homies for life. Homies for life. Um, making sure that I get this quest done so we can continue to showcase the server for you guys. But uh, there we go. Let's speak to this person and see what they got to say. After some searching, you found the pit and Avery down inside it. She's unconscious, but still breathing. You decide to take out your Hariyama. With its help, you pick her up and climb out of the pit with ease. All the while, you can't help but wonder why this very crucial situation was assigned to some kid like you. Oh well. The three of you make your way back to the Poké Center. So I believe at this point, we're going to head back to the Poké Center, and I believe that's also where uh, Avery's going to be located at. Uh, I believe we... Wait, I went the wrong way. Or did I? No, 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 I'm going the right way. Uh, and I believe that's where we've uh, actually spoken to them before. And uh, more likely, of course, that's probably what we have to do to continue the quest. And I believe once we do this, I think it should also unlock the gym for us, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we can get the gym going for us today. If not, if not, it's completely okay. I think our team's doing pretty well uh, to the point where I, I feel pretty confident about uh, taking on a gym today. Everybody's kind of leveled up very, very close to each other. And uh, I actually don't even know what the gym typing would be for this place. Rock type, maybe? I don't, I'm not exactly too sure. Where is the Pokemon Center? Where, uh, follow this guy. No, this looks like the Pokemon Center right here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So let's speak to them real quick. She's been knocked unconscious. Time to speak to Samuel. Okay, so you speak to Samuel first. Avery, you really saved her. I don't even know where to begin, but thanks. I'll take her from here and get her to the doctor. You wait in the lobby of the Pokemon Center. And while, a little while later, the pair return, Avery with a crutch and cast on Samuel's arm. You're still here. Thank you for waiting. Avery's doing well. As you can see, thank you again for saving her. I really don't know how to thank you. You're amazing. I'm sure Avery would like to thank you as well. You're the one who saved me? What? How did I get a rare fossil? What? 
I really should have uh, watched my step. I really feel like a fool, but thank you for your help. I got a little excited to see him as I found some very rare fossils on my uh, dig today that would help us live comfortably. I'd really appreciate it if you took one of them. There's a buyer in town that will pay a great amount for it. We live in Alsike, which is the next island over. We'd love to see you again. Anyway, you should probably head to the gym, eh? Okay, that's pretty cool. We got a rare fossil. It kind of looks like an old amber, too. Yep, that yeah, is an old amber. Uh, sells for a high price. I don't know who in town would buy it, but I don't think it's part of the main quest because we can go ahead and just do exclamation point log and speak to Gary in the Avaria gym. So uh, the gym is located right over here. Um, what's cool is the gyms in all this uh, on the Neo server, they all look very, very similar to each other. So it's, you know, it's perfect. You can always see where the gyms or how the gyms are looking. Let's speak to Gary. Actually, real quick, there's a PC here. Let's put this Altaria back in our party. Uh, let's do a quick pee heal just in case if we have to battle Gary and let's go from there Glad to see you finally made it too busy saving the world or something Well, if you aren't that busy, how about you and I have a little battle before you face the gym leader? I already wiped the floor with him. So you might need it. You look as weak as you usually do anyway Okay, all right, let's go. What's he starting off with Eevee a level 56 Eevee and then and literally it's just Eevee I'm gonna do a fake out free attack here and uh leaf tornado I didn't actually do what I was hoping. Well, I mean, it did a good amount. I just, I should have probably, uh, uh, I probably should have nasty plot. So he sends in a Staravia. Do I have anything to stop a Staravia? I have Mammoth Wine, actually. That's a good idea. This is a new addition to the team, and we have Ice Shard, which is a priority move, I believe. Plus, Mammoth Wine's, uh, not necessarily the worst Pokemon either. And a Magikarp? Are you serious? We're gonna go ahead and uh, Z move this thing. Uh, Sub Zero Slammer. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh my God, what? Uh, that hit me with just a Hydro Pump. Wait, Magikarp could learn Hydro Pump? Since when? All right, quick little fake out. Cool, a little bit of damage here, and then Leaf Tornado. What? Okay, I knew I could learn uh, Bounce, but don't tell me I'm gonna lose to a Magikarp. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose to a Mag Magikarp knockoff real quick. Uh, is the knockoff gonna go through? A little bit of lag, I assume. Little big of lag. No, lock, knock off. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, I had a life orb. No wonder it was doing so much damage to me. That's scary. I won $5,000. Nice. Don't let that boost your ego too much. The gym leader is not a pushover. Hope you're ready for it. As for me, I got more badges to win. I got to be ready to trash the Elite Four. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Smell you later. Okay, cool. And I'm assuming that guy right there is the gym leader. And I think, guys, this is the perfect time to call off today's episode. Uh, I think the whole Harry Hama thing just, you know, it was too much of a thing for me. I apologize. The episode seems a little bit slow. Hopefully it kind of sped up a little bit towards the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm sorry this took forever to release. Carrying, uh, catching the Harry Hama, the right Harry Hama, did take quite a bit out of my time. Looking for a uh, Avery as well also took a little bit of my time. Um, plus I've been focusing on other ventures like Twitch, which is a perfect opportunity to let you guys know that I stream on Twitch almost daily. I have a day off on Thursdays. Other than that, I stream every single day, unless I have any other event in real life. Oh, it's a dark gym. That makes sense. Um, so make sure to check me out. Uh, link for that will be in the description below. Of course, you guys are always welcome to join my discord and you get all the links and all that good stuff in the description below. So check that out, guys. Uh, also want to throw it out. You know, I, I don't know how you guys will take it, but if you guys are playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu on the Nintendo Switch, I am actually hosting a giveaway right now for a shiny, timid Vulpix for Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. So the only um, there's two different uh, Vulpixes that you guys can potentially win. One on my Instagram, so make sure you check that out. And then the other one will be in my Discord, so make sure you check that out, guys. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you do that. Of course, if you're buying anything via the web store, make sure to use my code STANS10. Gets yourself 10% off of your total order, saving, um, well, pretty much helping everybody involved from you saving money to the store, uh, to the server staying up, and to you guys using my code. Everybody gets a little bit something out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace!